a full-on fashion icon, practically. <laughs> And just turned 20 this week, too. And Vera Wang is actually my cousin by marriage, so it's really kind of exciting to be here. I'm always amazed when I see a Vera Wang show at how avant-garde she is. I remember years ago when she and I used to work at Vogue together, I mean, she would always be uh, walking down the hallways in layers of black Japanese fashion, and uh, she was the first girl I saw really wear Prada. She has an incredible antenna for what's new. Vera's design personality has two very distinct sides. The white side, which is the bridal side. The dark side, which is her own signature collection. In this collection, the dark side was really lifted and buffed up by the dance influence, which gave the clothes a lightness. And also the gold, the sheen, the, the influence of the ballet russe. The black jacket with all the flowers on, all the detail, the embroidery. They've got it so right for us at Harvey Nichols. My favorite outfit actually was a wonderful combination of the prosaic and the exotic, this kind of degradé quality. It just looked like a, an outfit that had a real story to tell, which is actually a strength of Vera's clothes generally. I think she's going to become really the next big American name in fashion. There's an interesting juxtaposition between what she wears for herself and what she sends down the runway. I'm just so happy for Vera right now. I think she is receiving the recognition that is long overdue to her.